All right, so we want an open cover of this segment, which has no finite subcover. So let's come up with an example. AJ from one to infinity, where AJ, each AJ is, and this is of course J equals one to infinity, um, AJ is going to be the open interval from 2 to the minus J to 1. So if we actually look at a picture, um, let's see if we've got from, z no, that's not 0, that's 1. If we go from 1 to 0 here, so A1 is going to be the open interval from 1 half to 1. A2 is going to be the open interval from 1 fourth to 1. A... 3 is going to be the open interval from 1 eighth to 1, and then we get 1 over 16, 1 over 32, etc., etc. And you can kind of just see immediately what the issue is here. Um, you've, got, um, you've got a collection which is eventually going to cover every... Like, if you take the limit as j goes to infinity, you end up with the open interval from 0 to 1. So, this collection of, of open sets um, expands and eventually it, it expands and takes up more and more of the interval. So, it will take up, it will eventually contain any point in this open interval, but it will never, no element of this collection actually contains the entire interval. And so, uh, no, there is going to be no finite subcover. This is, of course, by no means the only example, but this sort of gives you an idea. All right, so let's actually work through the details of how we prove that this is an open cover which has no finite subcover. So first, we need to prove that's an open cover. So to prove that, and I'll just write it AJ like this, is an open cover let x be in the open interval from 0 to 1. Now if we, and, and the idea here is that if we choose, so, here, so this is, I don't know why I keep doing that, 0, 1, and this is, we have x here, we just choose 2 to, the, we just choose j large enough so that 2 to the minus j is somewhere like here. So, if we choose j large enough so that, and here's sort of what we need to do to make this specific. We need 2 to the power of j to be greater than 1 over x. Or we can write this as 2 to the j is greater than x to the power of minus 1. then what we have is 2 to the minus j is going to be less than x, and so x is in aj, because aj is the open interval from 2 to the minus j to 1. So if we want to be even more specific here, x is between 2 to the minus j and 1. Okay, so it's an open cover. Um, if we choose, we can choose a j large enough and show that there is some j such that x is an aj, and this holds for every single x, and therefore um, this collection of ajs is an open cover of the open interval from 0 to 1. Okay, so to prove that there is no finite subcover, what we're going to do is let a sub n k from k equals 1 to, let's say, m is a finite subset of a j. So this is a collection we have a n1, a n2, a n3, all the way up to a n m. So this is a collection of m elements where m is some positive integer. Um, 
And each nk is itself a positive integer. So let's, so even though we'll have like, yeah, so we have n1 through nm are the integers, or are the indexes which tell us, they tell us which of the aj's we're including in this finite collection. Okay, so now we've got n1 through n m so we've got finitely many of these indices and these are all positive integers and because there's finitely many there must be a largest one so let n be the maximum n k where k is taken between 1 and m all right since a1 is contained in a2 is contained in etc cetera, etc cetera, and i guess this is something that um, you could go into more details and prove this, but it's sort of obvious because a what you what you do is first of all I guess you would have to prove this by induction, so you'd have to prove that a one is a subset of a two, which is obvious because the open interval from one half to one is obviously contained in the open interval from one fourth to one, and then furthermore, if you look at um, if you look at a j versus uh, compared with a j plus one, then you have two to the minus j minus one is strictly less than two to the minus j, and therefore you conclude that a j plus one is contained. No, you prove that a j is contained in a j plus one, and I guess that even holds for the base case of um, a one and a two. So maybe you. Don't even really need to include the base case. Um, you, can, you can prove that rigorously and write it out if you wanted to. I think it's simple enough that you don't need to. Even though like I have gone through a lot of details in proving things here that might not need their own separate explanations. Um, but yeah, that's just my style. I like to include a lot of details. But anyways, however you want to write it, um, we have this fact that this is an increasing... Uh, collection of sets and so we know that the union uh, from k equals 1 to m of a n k is equal to a sub capital N because all of the a n k's are going to be contained in the larger in, in the a n k that maximizes n k if that makes sense. So, right, so we have this, but now clearly the, 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 the point is that, um, so the union of these ANKs is AN, which is not the entire interval from zero to one, and so it's not uh, an open cover. And I'll prove that in slightly more detail. So for any X in the open interval from zero to two to the minus n, then x is not in a n because the left end point of a n is two to the minus n. And so um, a n k from k equals one to m is not an open cover of the open interval from 0 to 1. So if you take, we've taken an arbitrary finite subcover and proven that it's not a cover of this open interval. And this holds for an arbitrary finite subcover, and therefore no finite subcover is an open cover of the open interval from 0 to 1. So thus, this collection of AJs has no finite subcover. And so what is this exercise really telling us? What this exercise is really telling us is that the open uh, interval from 0 to 1 is not a compact set. Because to be compact, it needs to be the case that every, um, every open cover has a finite subcover. And like we've said in, the, in this chapter, 
open sets are not compact in Rn. And so this open interval from, from 0 to 1 should not be compact, which means that there should not be any way, or which means that it should not be the fact, it should not be the case that any open cover has a finite subcover. So that leads us to think that there should be some open cover with no finite subcover, and here's an example of one. And in general, this sort of gives us an idea of what the main issue is with open sets which makes them not compact. It's the fact that if you're looking at open covers, you can have open covers which approach the boundary of the open set, but never quite reach the boundary of the open set. And in these scenarios, you end up with open covers with no finite subcovers. Because that's exactly what we're doing here. These open sets, these AJs, um, they're approaching that end, that left end point of zero, but they never quite get there. So eventually it's able to, when you take all of them together, you're able to cover the entire open interval, but you're not able to get a finite subcover. And so this is sort of why we need um, part of the definition, or part of one of the conditions of being compact is that the set needs to be closed because you need to include that boundary so that this phenomenon doesn't happen. And yeah, so here is an open cover of this open interval and we've and it doesn't have a finite subcover and we've proven all of this and so we are done with the exercise.